And it's election day right here in South Florida and around the country. The city of Miami voting for its next mayor to replace Tomas Regalado. Here are some of those running for his seat. We've got Williams, Alfred Armbrister, as well as Christian uh, Chinachi and Cynthia Jacquith, as well as the current commissioner, Francis Suarez, who has been endorsed by the current mayor. And Commissioner Suarez was seen on his way to cast his vote just a short time ago. And Hialeah voters are picking a new mayor. The candidates are Tanya Garcia and Carlos Hernandez. They're also voting for two seats on the city council. And voters in Miami Beach are also at the polls today. They're voting on a controversial issue regarding alcohol sales on Ocean Drive. So let's get right over to Local 10 News reporter Erica Rako. She is live on Miami Beach with more on this. A lot of people coming to the polls. Well, we're here at Nautilus Middle School, Christy, and all morning long we've slowly seen people coming in, but keep in mind early voting happened last week as well. Out front of this polling location, there is a group of people holding signs in support of and against those proposals and the candidates. I'm just going to vote today for the community. It's election day in Miami Beach. After a testy few weeks of campaigning, residents are casting ballots. On that ballot is a proposal that sparked this protest last week. Voters will decide whether or not venues on Ocean Drive will have to stop serving alcohol at 2 a.m. instead of the current 5 a.m. cutoff time. I voted uh, no for the, for the ban. I felt that uh, for the community, for that area, they did a lot of business. I didn't want the businesses to lose that income. Those in support of it believe the earlier last call will help reduce crime in the entertainment district. Also to be decided today, who will the new mayor of Miami Beach be? Candidate Dan Gelber casted his vote at Nautilus Middle this morning. Gelber is running against Kenneth R. Bereski II, Daniel Kahn, and June E. Savage. Two city commission seats are up for grabs. Mark Samuelian and Rafael A. Velasquez are vying for the group two spot. Velasquez's campaign was rocked last week by sexual allegations made by two women, including a sitting commissioner. He'd become abusive. He exposed himself. Um, he was trying to, like, force my hand on him, and it was too much. Did you expose yourself to Commissioner Rosen Gonzalez? Absolutely not. Velasquez denied the allegations and pushed forward with his campaign, despite losing support from the Miami-Dade Democratic Party. And two more candidates to watch for. Michael Gangora and Adrian Gonzalez are running for the open Group 3 commission seat. And the second proposal on this ballot that beach residents will vote on is something called the FAR increase. It has to do with zoning, and if it passes, it will allow for some more redevelopment to happen in North Beach. The polls will be open until 7 p.m. Live in Miami Beach, Erica Rako, Local 10 News.